Hey, welcome back to Cabin. We got a quick one today. Uh, we're gonna review a great shoot by Jack Jeffries. Uh, this has a, got a lot of content out of a really simple idea. Uh, and we're just gonna go over why, what makes this shoot great. Uh, Jack's totally worth checking out. Uh, you can see his uh, portfolio on Cabin and we'll leave the, uh, his Instagram down below. Uh, all right, let's get to it. First thing Jack did right was nail the casting. Got a really great looking girl. She's racially diverse. Healthy uh, was the, the strongest part of this story. And if you're gonna do a simple story, you really gotta nail the casting, and Jack certainly did. All right, this first group of pictures is great. Jack location scouted. This is the Williamsburg Bridge, I think. He figured out that he could just get a good variety of pictures in a very close area, so he doesn't have to run around town. He uses the angles really well here. They're all pointing towards the model, and he leaves room for type. Jack's great at doing this. He knows clients need it. So keep that in mind when you're shooting. Arrange your composition so the client can put their, their branding and their text in the picture easily. You're gonna sell more that way. All right, let's check out the next stuff. In these next two, Jack moves right next door to the previous locations and gets two quick shots, but he gets fun with the second one where she's jumping over the benches. I mean, instead of just this normal running along the shore thing, I have to say this whole shoot, running around the city being fit with a cell phone, isn't a great concept usually because it's pretty common, but Jack just nailed it so well here. And these are such high quality photos. They're graphic. He, j he just hits on all cylinders here. So even though the concept is a little common and I actually don't recommend it, this is just a great shoot uh, and it's done really well. So keep that in mind. You might come up with a, a more unique concept than this, but I just love how he kept it simple and he photographically just is really killing it. All right, let's check out the next stuff. Again, really close all together in the same location, but he finds this really beautiful view under the bridge and he really quickly zooms, uh, zooms in and gets two more shots. That's something important to remember. You know, zoom in, zoom out, get a variety of compositions out of the same location if you can. Jack nails it here. The first shot's incredible. This last one, maybe it's telling a different story that's not about working out. Maybe she's thinking about moving out of the city or into a city, you know. Open stories are always great. So this is really well done. Last two, he moves location. It looks like Chinatown. Great shot of her. Uh, she's obviously a dancer. And this one in the doorway, this could tell a lot of stories. Is she gonna start a new gallery? What is she gonna do? Um, keep in mind, keep graffiti out of your pictures. That's IP owned by some, somebody else. So we retouched it out of this picture. This story got, I think, 40 to 50 pictures in. It's a simple concept. The thing that he did so well is just photographically, he just it took beautiful shots. The concept wasn't actually that great, but he just nailed it. Uh, great casting, great photography, really used the angles in the, in the city, you know, architecturally and all that stuff. He always leaves room for type. I mean, Jack's a pro. All right, signing off. Thanks for tuning into this one. Learn more about stock photography at cabinimages.com and we'll check you next time.